Hi, Manjo Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. If you've seen my Mega Pocket Torch in one of my earlier episodes, you'll see that it was broken. And I was trying to play with it. It's doing all the clicky sounds, but it's not doing anything. So I got a regular lighter here to test it and uh, see what happens here. Yeah. If you can't tell from the video, it's actually putting flames out everywhere. In fact, it's really bloody dangerous and it's going to probably melt my camera if I continue to run that for any longer. So clearly it's broken, man. So I've got no real reason to keep this alive. I'm going to try not to cook my camera. Woo! That's hot. It's actually, it's, it's really hot. I can smell burnt hair. So uh, yeah, I've just, just about depleted the gas tank on it. In fact, I'm just going to run it a little bit more just to get rid of that last bit of pesky gas. Ah, don't melt my camera. Don't do this at home, by the way, guys. This is kind of dangerous. Right, it's starting to feel that it's pretty much expired. There we go. That's going to be one dead lighter. <laughs> pretty much. Oh, oh, oh. So while it's sizzling and melting the parts of the back office. I'll just unscrew it so we can have a look what's inside. I'm going to use this handy PC because it's got a nice protective coating and we don't mind damaging a protecting co protective coating right now. Gives us a bit of contrast as well. Let's see what's in here. Little screws. Ow, ow, ow. See how hot this is. Yep, that's all pretty hot. In fact, I don't really want it to melt through those things. So Put it on a back office CAD. At back office show, everybody. So you can see there's some nice little screws there. We might keep those. The jet nozzle. Ow, 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 ow. Really hot. So I suspect leaving this on for a while, you know, using some of its jet nozzling capabilities has sort of melted something and that's what's caused the valve and everything to fail on it. So we've got our little igniter. Gives me a little bit of a tingle. Right, let's have a look in the gabins. I can see a pipe here and that would connect it to the top of the gas valve and it's got a nice little bit of metal running down the middle. And that bit of metal is necessary, of course, to conduct the power from our sparker. So the actual, oh, 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 there's a little lever in here. You see, that's when you push down on the trigger, the lever pulls up and you can just about hear a little trickle of gas coming out. So that's the valve. That's about it, really. There's the uh, just a sort of ceramic head and how it connects to the body. See if I can sort of get a twist on it. We might be able to dismantle it. It doesn't want to come out. So anything I can do with this? Pop the end off. I'm going to try to unscrew it, keep unscrewing it. Whoa! Don't do that on a full one, I'd fire that thing out. So I can't think of any useful uh, thing we can do with this. We could keep it together and keep it as a micro gas canister for something, but it seems a bit pointless. So there you go, mega pocket torch failure. I'll have to go and buy another one. See if we can do something with this sparker. Ow! Ah! Let's leave that alone. Please feel free to click subscribe, leave comments below, and as ever, thanks for watching.